welcome to Exhibitor Lounge, sponsored by ExhibitEdge.com. I'm your host and your trade show mixologist, Michael Gray. Here each week, you receive simple, practical, and proven tips to improve your trade show marketing strategy and get better results while maximizing your budget. All right, many laptops and computers will have a HDMI output, and many monitors, especially commercial grade monitors, will use a DVI input. Now, if you remember from an earlier video, the DVI connection was the original digital computer interface between computers and monitors, while the HDMI connection was the first digital interface for home theater use. So even though DVI is being phased out, it is still a popular connection until the display port takes over. So how do you connect a laptop or DVD player that has a HDMI output to a monitor that has a DVI input? Do you need an active adapter or converter or can you just use a passive cable with an HDMI connection on one end and a DVI connection on the other? Okay, so when connecting a high definition multimedia interface or HDMI source with a digital video interface, meaning a DVI monitor, you know the connectors, well, they're not even close to fitting. The good news is you just need a passive cable or adapter to make the connection as both DVI and HDMI use the same TMDS signal format. There's no need for a converter. Now if you already have one of the cables, then an adapter to connect to the end of the cable is all you need. Just make sure that you get the right one. Now DVI to HDMI adapters can come with male or female connectors on either end. Make sure to get the right one to go with your cable. Now if you already have an HDMI cable, get an adapter with a male DVI connection and a female HDMI connection. If you have a DVI cable, get an adapter with a male HDMI connection and a female DVI connection. Now there are also different types of DVI connectors. Look at my earlier video about DVI cables and connectors. Now you'll see that connectors are different for DVI-D, DVI-A, DVI-I, single link, and dual link. Make sure that you look at the DVI port on your device before you get a HDMI to DVI passive adapter or cable. Now if you need sound, then you also need to make sure that you get an adapter with sound for the DVI side. HDMI to DVI adapters can include an audio plug on the DVI side. HDMI cables carry both sound and video. DVI only carries video. Now you may just want to get a separate audio cable and use the microphone jack or the composite audio jacks when connecting to the devices instead. All right, also note that there can be some loss of signal when transferring data from HDMI to DVI. It will be unnoticeable to most people. To get slightly technical, DVI is an 8-bit RGB signal only. HDMI can be an 8-bit RGB or 8-bit, 10-bit, or 12-bit YCBCR. Now there's no problem when going from DVI to DVI or DVI to HDMI. If, however, you have an HDMI source and a DVI display, some video information, well, it just may be lost in translation. As always, please respond with your questions or comments and let others know about ExhibitorLounge.com. 
Hey, we'll see you next week. Till then, I'm your host, Michael Gray, telling you, relax in the Exhibitor Lounge.